Hello everyone. This is going to be a bit of a muddled vlog because what ended up happening, the house move happened right on Christmas week. I think probably I told you that in the last vlog, I've lost track. Poor Vlogmas just completely went out the window with the house move and everything that was happening. It was such a crazy time. You'll hear more about that in the clips that I'm gonna show you throughout this vlog. Because I did kind of film clips here and there just before the move and then during the move, then afterwards, it's all gonna be a little bit mixed up, a little bit all over the place. It'll kind of randomly go from one thing to the next. So it won't be the most kind of smooth sailing vlog, but I still wanted to include all of those clips about what's been happening. And then I can kind of start again fresh the next vlog for 2023 so this is kind of a first vlog of 2023 but it is mainly wrapping up 2022 i guess and the house move was good we are in the new house but we had all sorts of issues and lead up to it i won't go into that now because like i said i will cover that in the clips that i'm going to show you and today i'm actually off over to ian's first of all to take some boxes around to sort out the rest of my stuff that's there and also to use his internet because i have zero internet here you're going to hear all about that saga in the upcoming clips as well and then i'm going to see lisa this evening i might go into town in between depending if I have time so that is my plan for today so I'm going to insert the clips now that kind of are over the last few weeks and then I will come back probably when I'm at Ian's I guess and then I will continue or finish I guess the vlog from there who knows how this is going to pan out good morning everyone I hope you can hear me over the kettle boiling it is another day and we are definitely now in the full throes of the move as you can see we're surrounded by boxes behind me. We're in that phase where you don't know where anything is. All of the kitchen stuff pretty much is packed. I've obviously got the coffee and the coffee pot, the biscuit brew tea bags. We've got a couple of mugs and just the odd thing that we might need. So we're kind of okay, but we're just navigating around that. It's always the worst part about moving when you're a few days away where everything is needing to be packed. So yeah, it's interesting, especially this close to Christmas. I'm also trying to kind of buy and wrap Christmas gifts and have that ready. Um, I've got a suitcase of stuff, which is all of my kind of immediate stuff that I'll need as soon as we've moved. And I've got a place to put all of my Christmas gifts so that I know exactly where the important things are. So I'm just trying to figure that out. I'm also trying to get all of my editing done. One thing that can be really tricky when you move, you don't necessarily have your internet right away. So we've obviously told them we're moving out of here. We've informed them of the new address and everything, but getting the internet switched on is not necessarily an instant thing. And it's turned out that we're gonna be a couple of weeks without internet. I do have my phone, of course, and I do have quite a good data allowance. So I can always kind of hotspot off my phone if the signal is good enough at the new house. I don't know what kind of phone signal we're gonna get, but I do have that kind of as a backup. But in terms of uploading videos, I'm sure that is not gonna be good enough for that or it would take forever. So I'm gonna have to try and edit videos and then go to somewhere where there's internet um, whether that's Becky's house, I'll be up at my mum and dad's over Christmas, um, anywhere that I can upload a video basically. So in terms of when these are gonna be going up, I can just make absolutely no promises. So it's all kind of crazy. We do have the option of obviously going to maybe coffee shops, other places like that. But again, with uploading videos, you need pretty good internet for it to not take hours and hours and hours. So I'm just gonna have to do that whenever I can in between. So craziest vlogmas ever, but it is what it is. I actually feel okay today. Yesterday, I was a little bit stressed, I will be totally honest. I was just feeling a little bit overwhelmed by everything. I'm trying to get the last couple of Disney vlogs completely finished and uploaded as well, so that they're done. And obviously, all the packing and everything else and trying to see people before I go up to my parents for Christmas, like see my friends. So yeah, it's all go, 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 but it is all good. I'm feeling good, I'm not feeling too stressed. Kate is actually away with work overnight tonight because she does have to go away quite a bit and obviously that can't stop just because of other life things happening. So yeah, it's been a bit mad. Becky is actually coming around this morning to help me out with stuff. I feel like I'm still shouting because the kettle was boiling and it isn't. So now I can lower my sound back down. <laughs> so yeah, Becky is coming around for a coffee this morning. She's um, picking something up for me that I needed on the way. She's so great at just helping when things are this mad. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna have a quick little catch up and stuff and then it will just be back to it. But I thought I would still be doing these episodes and showing you what I'm doing, even though what I'm doing is not very Christmassy. It is in fact completely the opposite, but there we are. That is what it is. Like I was saying, I've got the coffee. So that is all that really matters at the moment. Hey everyone, it is now another day and I'm sat in my car. We are moving today. I'm eating a Subway cookie, which I just found in my bag. <laughs> um, we are literally, when I say in the process of moving, we have just locked up the old house, 
cleaned, done everything. I've now just arrived at the new house. Kate is picking up the keys. The removal guys are just waiting around the corner. We've arrived at the house and the people aren't quite out yet. So I'm just sat in the car. As you can probably hear or see, the weather is absolutely terrible. Worst possible for when you're trying to get stuff kind of out of cars and vans into the house, but there we go. British weather, you never really know what you're gonna get. And it's um, warmed up quite a bit, but now we've got rain. So we had freezing, frost and ice, and now we've got rain instead, but it's all good. Um, we've managed to move before Christmas. It's been so crazy. I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get these episodes up of Vlogmas. It really is quite crazy. Um, this cookie, by the way, this is that Christmas one from Subway. It's a sticky toffee pudding cookie. They are everything. I never really thought of Subway cookies as being that great, but this is really, really nice. Maybe it's just because I'm very hungry. I haven't really eaten all morning. So yeah, that is where I'm at right now. And I haven't really filmed much the last couple of days because we've been packing and just really gearing up to get going. So it's just been absolute chaos. But yes, we are now here at the new house. So hopefully I'll be able to show you inside as soon as we can get in. Hey everyone, it is the next day now and we are in the new house. I honestly cannot tell you how long I've been waiting to say that, that we are in, we have moved, we are in our new place and it's amazing. We're kind of in that phase at the moment where everything is just everywhere. We moved yesterday, as you saw the little clip I took on my phone, that was the only chance I had to vlog yesterday. You know what moving days are like, it was just absolutely non-stop all day long. Um, we had such a stressful lead up to this move for one reason and another, which I won't go into, but it was honestly like months and months and months in the making. So when we actually got in yesterday, we could hardly believe it. We were actually in the new house, um, but it all went fairly smoothly. There is stuff everywhere. Like I said, there's boxes everywhere. I'm working on this room today, which is my bedroom. I will give you a tour of everything at some stage. I need to get everything a bit straightened out first before I show you. Because I don't want you to see all of my boxes and stuff everywhere and the whole house is like that at the moment. But we're really, really pleased, very, very relieved to be in before Christmas. I'm of course going away in a couple of days to my mum and dad's. The one problem that we've got here, I did mention it beforehand, we're not gonna have internet right away. But not only do we not have our internet installed, there is zero phone signal and when I say zero maybe that's a tiny exaggeration i can get a text message in and out there's one section of the house where i can get a phone call out but that is it i can't get on social media i can't get online at all we were asking one of the neighbors and they said yeah this little bit that we're in kind of just this part of the road is a total black spot she said people's car radio will even cut out when they're just going past this little bit so it obviously is just a total black spot but it is such a pain when you've got no internet. You don't realize how many times a day you go on your phone and go on apps and do whatever you do and need data or Wi-Fi or something. Honestly, every time I go to pick up my phone to look at something, there's so many things we need to do like changing our address on stuff and we just can't do anything. So that is gonna be challenging. It's kind of good that Christmas is happening because then I'm not kind of on my phone and not doing as much work, so that's good. I am going up to my parents and of course their internet is working. My poor nails need doing because you can imagine moving yesterday I've broken about three that needs to be sorted out I might try and do that maybe this evening or something it's just crazy trying to get things done before I go away to my mum and dad's so I just wanted to show you guys the possible color options for my room and these were just ones that Kate picked up I basically said anything pale pink or blush or grey kind of colours and these ones in the bigger pots are all quite dark so I don't think I'm going to be going for anything like that and they're a little bit sort of orangey so there's rosy peach, shrimp shell which I kind of like the name of that one, fleecy dreams and pinky so I think those are going to be probably too dark. This one is called Kyoto and actually that's quite nice it can be hard to tell on camera it's almost like a stone kind of colour but it's quite warm so that one's actually quite nice and there's this one goose down which is a grey so that's quite nice. This this one I think might be really good which is called blush pink and I think this is much much lighter you can kind of see the difference um, with those two obviously you can't tell until you've got it onto the wall but I think this one is more what I was thinking like a very very pale pink and also this one a lambra stone and that is more of a kind of cool grey I would say so there's lots of different options there so I'll show you guys when I'm testing these just so you can see what I decide on but looking at them now I'm thinking it would probably end up being one of these two Dulux ones but again you can't really tell until you've got it up on the wall oh and by the way you might recognize this duvet cover i showed you it in the haul video a few vlogs ago i got this from dunelm i think it was and now i've got it on the bed so you can see it a bit better now when i do the room tour i'll obviously show you everything properly 
Hello everyone, I've just been trying to get into some half decent lighting, I don't know whether I've successfully managed that or not. Um, happy Christmas Eve, it is now Christmas Eve. This has probably been the least Christmassy feeling year that I've ever had and that includes 2020 when lockdown was happening and stuff. It's just been crazy with the house moving and stuff and I just haven't had the chance to be festive. I haven't watched one Christmas film yet, I haven't really listened to Christmas music other than if I've been like in a store or something where it's playing. Um, it just hasn't happened because everything has been focused on the house move. So I filmed a couple of clips I think from the new house, not anything specific, I didn't really show you much. Oh I showed you my paint swatches I think. Um, but yeah it's been, it has been a week. This was not what I had intended for Vlogmas, I really was looking forward to the fact that I wasn't away this year and with the moving it just has kind of gone by the wayside but I still want to vlog a little bit over Christmas and I can upload that while I'm here at my mum and dad's. I spent yesterday just doing work stuff because they have wi-fi so I managed to have obviously like Christmas Eve Christmas Day is like family time boxing day but yesterday I managed to get the Disney vlog um, ready which is going up today I managed to get some other bits and pieces done because it's I've just had no signal I can't explain how bad it is like I literally can't even get onto social media so yesterday I managed to put up a reel on both of my Instagrams and I just feel really bad for being so absent and MIA but it is just you know what moving house is like everyone's done it it's terrible and chaotic and sometimes it's just even worse and I have to say it was terribly stressful the actual um, process of it and um, long story short the people whose house we were moving into they didn't want to move before Christmas even though it had been discussed for months and months and months like I packed up my stuff in October thinking the move was going to happen then so it just rumbled on and on and on and in the end it kind of had to be pushed that that is when it's happening so it was all very stressful and worrying about what was going to happen and yeah it was very very tense but I'm glad that that is all sorted now and Kate messaged me this morning she's been getting a lot of stuff organized um, back home so that's really good so I feel good now I feel not stressed I think you feel very very displaced when you're moving house if you know what I mean by that feeling like you just don't feel at home um so it's very strange but anyway we're in it's all done that is all really good the journey up here was actually not too bad i was kind of dreading it with it being christmas and there's been rail strikes happening in the uk so a lot of people have been using coach transportation and i was dreading it thinking oh my gosh like how busy is it going to be is it going to be crazy and um the roads were very busy and the coach was very busy that i was on for the first half but actually it was fine i've had much worse journeys up here so that was fairly easy so yeah, now everything is all good. Dad is just cooking some breakfast, or brunch I should say. We're not very early eaters. Well, me and mum are not. <laughs> Dad is, he's like an up early person. Um, but we're just having some brunch today and then me and mum are going to wrap some last minute Christmas presents. Most of mine I did quickly do before I came away. Not up to my usual standard, I have to say. I really love wrapping and putting lots of like, I've shown you my wrapping before in previous years um, and I just didn't have time for any of that. So I just had to kind of go with what I had. It's gonna be a very relaxed Christmas this year because it is just the three of us. Sometimes we have like other family members coming but it's just us this year. Um, I actually quite like that. I do like a kind of low key, Christmas. I enjoy Christmas um, but I don't like really busy crazy Christmases. I tend to just enjoy you know Christmas pyjamas, Christmas film, just eating and drinking you know that kind of thing. I'm more that kind of Christmas person and especially this year with it being so um, weird the lead up I just feel like I just haven't had any kind of festive feeling or I haven't done anything festive other than probably when I went to Birmingham and we went to the Christmas market that they had there that was probably the only festive type thing that I've done I would normally would maybe go and do a few things go to the garden center and experience all their Christmassy stuff they have and then putting the tree up and decorating it I just haven't done any of that this year so it feels yeah very very strange anyway i didn't mean for this to get quite so chatty um i don't know how long this vlog is going to be it's going to be very random because some of it was filmed last week and some of it now but anyway that's the current situation like i say we're now in the house that's the main thing and um yeah i love the new house i love my room i will do a house tour and show you some stuff once everything's been straightened out i think kate's been hard at work doing some stuff while i've been gone so yeah looking forward to you obviously getting back in getting myself organized I just realized that i didn't show you the christmas tree and of course we haven't been able to have one at home so it's nice to see this one at mum and dad's you can't really see it so good because the light is kind of making it weird 
but they've got like a red and gold theme going on which is really nice and they also have this one in the other room this is more like what I remember our Christmas tree to be like when I was a kid because I feel like most people have plain lights on their tree now and this one has the coloured lights on and we always had coloured lights back in I feel like everyone had coloured lights in like the 80s and 90s and probably prior to that so we have this one as well which is really cute and the tinsel of course we don't have tinsel on the main tree I feel like this is the 90s throwback tree basically okay it has been a minute since I've done a grocery haul on one of my videos um, obviously this is the first one since moving into the new house I've just got back from my mum and dad so I needed everything we'd got rid of like everything that was lingering around in the freezer and stuff so I needed to get quite a few things including cleaning stuff I have milk mushrooms for a risotto and also tomatoes for the other type of one that I make although they did not send my broccoli they sent me carrots instead of broccoli that is not going to work at all so I sent the carrots back and I will need to pick up some broccoli to go with that then I've got some parmesan cheese which goes in the mushroom risotto and leeks which goes into both of the different types that I make. I do have some frozen chips. I don't eat things like this very often to be honest but I like to just have something in the freezer as a backup in case I don't have any fresh stuff. So I just bought some chips and this pack of veggie burgers. Then I have toilet rolls. Oh that's in a paper packaging now, that's good. I've got these yogurts, which I've become completely obsessed with. They're the Muller Corner Skyer. I don't know how you say that. They have nuts and chocolate, and there's also this raspberry and hazelnut. I absolutely love these. It's really, really thick, unsweetened yogurt, so they don't taste sugary or anything like that. And they have like the granola in the other side. They're really, really good. I love having one of these for breakfast every day. Then I have some sour cream and chive dip, which is to go with these lentil chips. I didn't really buy many things that are like treats because I feel like over Christmas I have had more than enough of stuff like that. But I do like these lentil chips every now and again, and um, I do like them with the dip. Then I just got a toilet cleaner thing, some all-purpose cloths just for general cleaning. And I have recently discovered this thanks to my mum. This stuff is a total game changer. I did not even realise that it was a thing. So this is laundry cleanser and it's basically antibacterial stuff that you put into the fabric softener drawer. So mum says she puts half this and half softener in the drawer if she has like towels or anything that could potentially go a bit like swampy or smell a bit funny you know like if you've had workout clothes that have got sweaty or anything like that anything that's like dirty or smells basically if you put this stuff in it totally comes out fresh and it really helps with towels that have gone a bit dodgy I didn't even know that this existed so I was super excited by that and I got this big Dettol one then this is the cleaner that I use for the bathroom the Sif Power and Shine and I find this one is so good on soap scum if you get that in the shower because I use the Imperial Leather Foam Burst shower gel and it does get like very foamy everywhere so this is really good at cleaning that then we have dishwasher tablets two big things of kitchen towel they actually substituted this this wasn't the one that I ordered and this seems like an excessive amount of baked beans but I'm finding as I'm sure most of you guys are groceries are getting so expensive like for one tin of beans or a couple of tins of beans now it costs a lot of money and they had an offer on the Heinz ones where these six packs were like on an offer if you buy two and it actually worked out a lot cheaper to do it that way I obviously don't need 12 tins of beans right now <laughs> but I do have these sometimes just on toast or I might have them with one of those veggie burgers for a quick dinner. So I thought I would just stock up. And of course those keep for absolutely ages in the cupboard. So you don't need to worry about the expiry date. So that is my grocery shop. I haven't done one of those for a really long time in the vlogs. So now that I'm back, I do need to deal with this wall of boxes in front of me. So I'm just gonna try and do that and start getting some stuff organized. I have unpacked a lot of my clothing. The wardrobe is now full or one of the wardrobes. And this stuff, I don't even really know what was in these boxes so let's get into them and see and I was just thinking I was going to struggle to get any more boxes unpacked until my new hangers arrive and just as I was thinking that the Amazon man came and here are my new hangers I always get these like velvety ones so that things don't slide off and I never realized how many clothes I had so I got this big box of 50 so now I can unpack the rest of the boxes of my clothes and I have a charity bag here as well so some of it will go in there and whatever I'm keeping into the wardrobe okay the clothes are in the wardrobe and that is a lot 
of clothing. I did not realise I had that much stuff. I do actually have another fitted wardrobe over here. That one currently just has suitcases and stuff in. The top of this one is disorganised, so that all needs to be organised. There are shoes and bags up there. The one in the top left, the mini one, is one that Kate got me for Christmas. I'll show you that at some point. And I've got some drawers coming for the bottom of this wardrobe. That's also disorganised at the bottom at the moment. But I'm just going to put some drawers in there to put um, like underwear and stuff that needs folding. But most of this in here is organised by kind of jackets and stuff. Then I've got dresses, play suits and then tops at the end there. So I'm at my desk just doing some editing. I feel like things are just relatively normal again, which is good. And I've got my new keyboard here, which my mum and dad got me for Christmas. It's a really small, thin one. It's so nice to use. The keys are like really quiet to use as well. This monitor is one that Becky's lent me. I'm going to get one that looks more like this, but she's got a Mickey Mouse sticker on there, which I love. Um, so I've got my new keyboard, which I'm loving. And I also, while I was unpacking, found this um it's actually a photo album but it's the big one that i had that has all of my planner stickers in it so i'm just going through this to pull some out to go in my main erin condren planner which is my work one and also this one here which i'm currently using as a mouse mat is my 2023 mini erin condren just for my personal stuff so i'm just seeing if any of these stickers will be any good in here because if you remember i put that little pocket on the back so that I could put a few sheets of stickers in. So if I find any small ones that would be any good, I'll put them in there too. So I'm just doing that. And I did manage to download something when I went out of the house to watch today. So I'm watching a crime documentary. Whenever I go out the house, I have to use the opportunity to quickly like download something. So I have something to watch, which is very sad, but there we go. So I'm now in the range and I need to get a mirror for the bedroom because I've got nowhere currently to straighten my hair which is close enough to a plug socket. And I think I'm in the wrong section though. This is more huge mirrors. I kind of need like a little stand-up one. So I think I need to keep looking. This soap dispenser is on clearance and it's the exact right color for my room. Well, they have this one as well, but I feel like that one's a bit small. That one's probably better. I think this is the type of thing I need, like a little stand-up mirror. I think this would do the job and it is pink as well. So maybe I'll just get this one. And I do also need a pink sheet because I've got a bigger mattress than I had at the old house. I can't remember where the bedding is. This is all curtains, I think. Okay, they do not have much in the way of sheets. Oh, there's a pale pink one. What size is that? That's double. Yep, that's what I need. It doesn't look pink, but it is actually pale pink. I'm feeling like I don't know why I bothered straightening my hair this morning because it is now a bit of a disaster. Uh, so Becky and I went for our coffee. It was super busy in there. I thought it would be quiet today with it being the first day back kind of after the Christmas and New Year break. It's not a bank holiday, but it was really, really busy. Okay, I've just wiped a speck off the screen. So if there was anything weird on there before, that's why. So we had our coffee and we were there for ages and then realised that the parking was nearly out and I got here a bit later than Becky. So Becky had to go and I just nipped into the range, as you saw, and got the few things that I needed. Did. so unfortunately becky didn't say hi to the vlog normally she would but she's now gone i think i'm going to i'm just in two minds whether to go to the other costa to do some work or not i don't necessarily need the internet today because i'm just editing there are a few things i could do with getting done so I don't know the signal in this costa was literally as bad as in the house i had no signal i was like i've come out of the house and still have no signal this is a nightmare so i'm not sure yet i may or may not go to the other costa or i might just go home and get some editing done we will see so i'm now at ian's and i'm just figuring out um, i need to get connected to the wi-fi because the laptop's obviously being fixed and everything he's in the background making coffee Wait, you can... how did you get in here get out of my house <laughs> So, yeah, I'm mooching his internet today because I cannot do anything at home. It's a nightmare. And um, he's laughing now. He was joking then, by the <laughs> way. <laughs> Hi, everyone. And, uh, yeah, I'm just opening some post and I need to get the Wi-Fi connected up because this laptop is effectively like a new one. It's not a new one. Don't get me started on the whole laptop repair process, but half of it is new the top half that opens is new and the bottom is the original why they didn't just give me a new one i don't know it went on and on and on it was just a bit of a saga so yes i'm just doing that and um like i said i'm seeing lisa later on this evening that probably won't be in this vlog because i'm going to upload this today so that is what I'm doing at the minute. I just wanted to show you guys this that I bought from my lovely friend, Catherine. Her shop is called Catnip on Etsy. Um, you probably know her, you've seen her in my Florida vlogs. Um, she's an amazing artist. And when I saw she bought out a 2023 calendar, I had to purchase this. I just wanted to flick through and show you how cute this is. So this 
this is January. I love that. Then February, that is very cute. Then the little frog and the bee for March. Then this really cute bunny for April. I just love her illustrations. They're so good. Then in May, you've got these ducks. That one is very, very cute. Look at the little duck on the cat's back. <laughs> that is super cute. Then June, you have the bee and the cat having a little coffee. And July, you have Gingy and Spice there. <laughs> love that. On the little unicorn inflatable. This is one of my favourites for August. You have the marshmallow by the campfire. I absolutely love that. And September, we have this little mushroom guy. And my birthday month is this Halloween one. I just love the pumpkin dressed as a ghost. Then November, we have the little bear in the froggy costume. And December, we have Gingy and Spice again. I absolutely love this. I just had to get it as soon as I saw that she brought out a calendar. So I will link her shop below for you guys if you're interested in the calendar or any of her other stuff. It really is amazing. And I'm going to wrap up this vlog now. I thought I would do that in front of the Spatial Perth wall since I'm here at Ian's. It's been a while since you guys have seen this. And I've just been doing a bit of sorting out in this room, boxing up loads of my stuff. To be honest, with moving to Kate's, it has taken a really long time to get all of this stuff boxed up. Ian actually doesn't use this room at all, so he really doesn't care that that this stuff has been in here but obviously I need to get rid of it and actually get rid of some stuff some of the stuff I will put into storage and obviously with moving and not having as much space being at Kate's house it's just taken a while to sort everything out and get everything boxed up but that's what I've been doing today as well as using Ian's internet he's very kindly let me do that uh, just so I can get some work done I don't talk about it too much in the vlogs the stuff with me and Ian obviously I talked about it at the time I have mentioned it in the vlogs before that we are still good friends we definitely are we're still on very very friendly terms everything has been been amicable everything has been dealt with now aside from me just sorting out these things in the house uh, but yeah it's really really good I think that we've been able to still be friends throughout this process I think that can be a very very difficult thing to do and I'm very thankful that we have managed to do that so that's been really good I've just been catching up finding out how his Christmas was and stuff as well so yeah that is going to be the end of this vlog thank you guys so much for watching I know this has been a really really weird one I call this like a jigsaw vlog where it is just lots of little snippets that don't totally make sense as a whole but I just wanted to include everything and get all of that into a vlog and then I can start again with vlogs making a lot more sense and being up to date if that makes sense going forward so if you enjoyed this if you could give it a thumbs up that would be great thank you so much for watching as always and if you're new here or if you just haven't subscribed yet you can click the subscribe button and the bell icon to make sure you're always notified when I upload another vlog I'm going to be uploading a lot more over here on this channel this year so that's one of my goals is to make sure I have very regular vlogs over on this channel as well so thank you guys for being here as always I hope you had a great Christmas and New Year I hope you're all well and I'll see you in the next one bye